Glow sticks are real popular during the holiday season, especially during New Year's Eve. And regardless of what kind you have, they can all use a little supercharging. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, it's time to make the ultimate LED glow stick. As you know, in many of my projects, I use hot glue to secure things. Well, we're going to be using hot glue again, but in a different way. You can find hot glue sticks at hardware stores or craft stores, and you'll need one about 7 inches long to make this work. And you'll need two LEDs. Really, any color will work. I'm using a blue one and a nice orange one. And these are both pretty bright and are powered by a single button cell battery each. Now it's time to fire up the soldering iron. Now, if you don't have one, you can use a drill for this. So you'll want to heat it up, and then you'll want to insert the tip in the end of the hot glue stick. Now, you definitely don't want to smell the fumes coming off of this. As soon as you have a decent-sized hole, stick the LED in the end of the glue stick. The hot glue will melt fairly quickly and hold it in place nice and tight. Then repeat the process on the other end of the glue stick. Our ultimate LED glow stick is just about done. Now take your 3-volt button cell battery and using hot glue for real this time, we're going to secure the leads from the LED to each battery. Okay, our ultimate LED glow stick is ready to test out in the dark. This is a lot brighter and more vibrant than any glow stick you'll find in the store and will last at least 8 hours or longer on a single battery. Plus, it will bend and twist just like a regular glow stick. I also made one using RGB color changing LEDs, which was pretty cool. Not quite as bright as regular LEDs, but definitely puts on a good show. And that's how to make the ultimate LED glow stick. Oh, and back to that tip on how to supercharge a regular glow stick, that's pretty easy. Take your wimpy glow stick and you're going to want to put it in the microwave oven. Now be careful, only about 30 seconds or you're going to have a glowing mess to contend with. The heat really does a number on a regular glow stick. It will disperse the fluid and make it brighter. Check it out, compared to the original one, it's about twice as bright and the fluid inside is definitely blended a lot better. For more Kip K videos, click the box on the left. And to see more Kip K easy projects, click the box on the right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.